today's job is going to be install this ream 4 ton, ton condenser 410a and we're going to be using the uh, i manifold it's the first time i've used the uh, i manifold on a job it's going to be uh, pretty exciting got to level the pad and install the uh, condenser and it's going to have a new evaporator too the job also gets a new 4 ton evaporator 410a and the re reefer lines have to be hooked up and the condensation needs to be hooked up. The pad has been leveled and the hole has been cut for the refrigerant piping so I just need to hook up the refrigerant piping and the electrical and this unit is going to be set and ready to go. Okay got the i manifold hooked up we're just checking the charge on the condenser it's a 4 ton ream condenser. You're looking at the uh, suction line temperature, liquid line temperature that's the inlet to the uh, uh, the liquid line uh, temperature. The inlet to the uh, liquid line dryer, and then uh, T3 is the outlet of the liquid line dryer. You can actually check for a plug dryer and the outdoor air right now. Now the outdoor air is elevated because I just took it out of the um, I just took it out of the sun, so it's going to be dropping here, but. Uh, It's looking pretty good. It's a fixed orifice system. The unit is nice and quiet. The customer is pleased with the install. They're actually going to pour a new slab around this unit, take up the pavers, but you can see the refrigerant piping and it has a new disconnect. But uh, I made it so you can actually pull that unit out six inches or side to side six inches without disturbing the refrigeration piping. So it's going to be nice and easy to get that slab in. But, uh, Alrighty, I hope you enjoy the video.